<laughs> Who dressed you, FEMA? Look at this, is this your lawyer? How you doing, sir? I'm here. All right, you look fantastic. Oh, I'm here. Are you here for the protest or for court? <laughs> I am for protest. What are you protesting? Bad sport jackets? For the rich people, no more rich. This morning. I know you guys have been uh, out here for weeks, and I thought a little uh, levity would help, a few jokes, uh, mostly at the expense of Wall Street and my head writer here. Uh, uh, You're here for the food, like most of the homeless around the area. We're only here for the food. You're not just homeless, you're toothless. You're adorable. All those assholes in Washington won't give us any services, you know. They just keep taking the money and not giving us anything back. I feel you, brother, I feel you. No, don't feel me, I'm not gay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Give it up for the police for taking care of us and keeping us safe while we're here. Thank you, officer. Let us crash your city hall today. All right. Testing one, two. Protesting one, two. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Fuck the system. Yeah. I'm talking about the sound system. Attention, brothers and sisters of the revolution, and whatever that guy is over there. How you doing? All right. I love the Gallagher haircut. You look fantastic. All right. Gather around, everybody. Drop the bombs and come join us. Come over here, people. We could use you. Come down. Come down. Come down, sir. Gather around. We don't need a permit. The First Amendment is our fucking permit, right? Yeah. My name is Jeff Ross, and I'm proud to stand in solidarity with all of you today. First of all, I want to thank you people who have been camping out for the last month just to see me. Seriously, this is so exciting for me. I've never been in the 99th percentile of anything. The big corporations have shit on us long enough. Now it's time for me to shit on them. Because <laughs> let's face it, the only reliable stocks we have left are our Birkenstocks. Are you with me? <laughs> and as a Jew, it's particularly tough for me not to side with the banks. <laughs> let's face it. I mean, we'll be real here. I gotta give you guys credit because the banks won't. <laughs> I don't trust the banks. Does anybody here trust the banks? No! The last time I made a huge deposit at a bank, a lesbian couple used it to get pregnant. If anybody sees my daughter, say hello. Yeah! Cab drivers are even in solidarity with us today. You are a beautiful crowd. I am one of the lucky ones. I have good credit. The only bad credit I have is from the 1996 movie Celtic Pride. Now on Blu-ray and DVD. We might all be here for different reasons, but we have one thing in common. We're angry, right? Yeah! We're angry because the banks are getting bailed out. We're angry because the elections are being bought out. And we're angry because Michelle Bachman's husband won't come out. Yeah. Like him, this country's in the shitter. Very, very deep in the shitter. <laughs> How about a hand for Michael Jackson's son? <laughs> How many of you, show of hands, are out of work right now? Wow, that's a lot of people. But put your hands down. Somebody's deodorant isn't working either. I passed out some deodorant. I got some more for you. Don't worry. I come here bearing gifts. Any expression of free speech, I love. Because I'm a comedian, I talk shit for a living. So you guys out here for weeks being honest with yourselves, doesn't matter why you're mad. It really doesn't. Desperation isn't always articulate, but we're out here for all different reasons. Right, sir? Why are you out here? Come up here. Give this guy some love. Hello. What's your name? Javon. J-A-V-O-N, you don't have to guess. 
What made you want to come out here and be part of Occupy LA? All right, that's some personal shit. All right, so um, I am 20 years old. I'm unemployed. I'm a college student, and you can't get classes because classes they get taken up like hot cases. Everyone's trying to get that government money, you know, and. I have to decide whether or not I'm going to go through the rat race or become part of this movement that might change things for the better. And fuck that, I'd rather construct than get stagnant. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Javon, give him some love. Thank you, brother. A true patriot. So many people out of work. Is this City Hall or Arsenio Hall? Ooh, 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 ooh. Right now, the economy is so bad, the Starbucks near my house closed down. I had to walk across the street to the other fucking Starbucks. <laughs> it's movements like this that have corporate America terrified and on the run. Yeah. Rich white America hasn't been this scared since Abe Lincoln freed the slaves. <laughs> right now, Fox News is shaking so much, they just changed their name to Michael J. Fox News. <laughs> How many Michael J. Fox fans here today? Hey! Right now, people are protesting all over the world. The last time there was a movement this big, Oprah Winfrey had to wipe and flush. <laughs> Free speech, sir. You know how it goes. Right now, we're changing the world. And when that's done, we'll change our socks. Are you with me, comrades? Yeah! Is this a protest or a fish concert? <laughs> At the protest in New York, I heard the porta potty smell so bad, the protesters were actually running towards the tear gas. <laughs> so give yourselves a round of applause one more time for Yay! dealing with the smell and the stink. Revolution in the air, that outweighs all those smells. I also want to give a shout out to my immigrant brothers and sisters. Give them a round of applause. There's a lot of people. Yeah! <laughs> I know the immigrants came here for the American dream, and the American dream is still very much alive. Just head a little further to Canada to find it. <laughs> we need to keep spreading the word about the control big business has on us. So everyone right now, get out your iPhones and Blackberries with your AT&T, Sprint, and Verizon providers, and go to the JP Morgan owned Twitter.com, and let's stick it to the fucking corporations. <laughs> I thank you all for your time. I appreciate your efforts. And I would stay here and camp out with you people. But I got a big meeting at Comedy Central and I don't want to keep the executives waiting. I'm just kidding. I love you all. I love what you're standing for. I love that you're taking patriotism by the balls and coming out here every day. So stay free, everybody. Thank you very much. Free Lindsay Lohan. All right. If you'll excuse me, I have to go to the Conrad Murray trial across the street. Anybody else want to say something while I'm here? Come up here one more time. It's the Indian from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Give it up for us. The real reason I'm here is that I feel that every single human being in the world deserves a little place on earth. We don't need to be harassed for being homeless. Every bird has a place, every wolf has a place, every bear has a place, so why can't humans be smart enough to provide housing for one another without all the bullshit? Thank you, brother. Well said. Somebody get that guy a job. Hi, darling. Thank you all for being here. We also want to recognize that we're being powered right now by solar power. Thanks to Power of Green and Lemur Park Village. You can see what other celebrities are coming down to the revolution. Because whether you're here for five minutes or five months, we're occupying together in solidarity. So find out who else is dropping in at hashtag the Lebs Occupy LA and power to the people by the people. Thank you. Courtney Love, give it up for her. Thank you, sweetheart. Anybody else? While we have an open mic, this is your big chance. Be heard. Come up here, sir. Look at this guy. How you doing? What's your name, sir? Where are you from, Manny? I'm from uh, California. All right. Give it up for Manny. Show him some love. Make him feel confident. 
What do you want to tell your fellow Americans? Well, I'm just wondering if some of you people know about this case. It's called Yikwo versus Hopkins, 118 U.S. In this case, Justice Matthews says, Sovereignty, by definition, is not subject to the law, for it is the author and source of law. But in our system, while sovereignty is delegated to the agencies that govern us, sovereignty itself remains with the people, by whom and for whom all government exists and acts. And what that means is the people are not subject to statutory ordinance code, any of that. Right. without contract and without your own consent. Right so remember, you're free. Each one of you is a king and a queen in your own right with no one to govern but yourselves. So right? Right. We're free. The Constitution is there and provides for our freedom at all times and at all costs. So remember that. I love you people. This guy's badass, so peace out. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my brother. All right, one more guy who's eating his lunch. This guy right here. Do you think you can take a break from eating while you talk? or? <laughs> Is eating with your mouth full of patriotic, uh, what's your name, sir? I got to hold the mic while you eat, don't worry. Sanji. Sanji, how's it going, man? You want to turn around and address these people? I'm going to show you the real meaning of a danger zone. What's up, party people? Angelinos, raise your hands in the air. Take out on mucho, Angelinos. This is the number one city. Now, L.A.'s got a bad rap because all the actors that didn't make it. Stop faking. Go home. Go say you're from L.A. Stop playing. If you don't knock it off. Now, Google, Yahoo, and uh, well, the Travel Legion says that L.A. is the rudest city in America. No, this is the realest. Yeah. Yeah. L.A. and the hizzy. But what it is, we got little Armenia, little Tokyo, little, you know, K-Town, all that good stuff. So everybody has their own little area. That doesn't mean they're rude, it just means they mind their own business. And you should mind your business too and tell your mom to mind her business. Alright? We're about business. It's a love story. One question, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Nobody's ever voted for a parking meter. Why don't we have them? Sir, I'm not here to address parking meters. There's something way bigger than that, homie. Alright? SA. I love you. Take care of mucho. Oh, you love paying tickets. So it's not about that. Tell them about the Constitution, man. The Constitution is here for you and me. I we're know that. Cousin, we're people. Tell me something I don't know. I am a soldier. <laughs> of what? I'm a soldier of the most high God, Lord of mercy. Barack Obama works for me and you. He works for us. So help him help us. He wants to create jobs. Yeah, I was arrested and released on my own recognizance. So anyway, these people still harassing me. They don't know the story. So, the, so here's the story. We are. We are the 99 percent. We are the 99 percent. The 1% is wrong. They owe me dough. All right? Now, my Latinos are the backbone of this nation. These are the hardest working people known to man or mankind. Now, my brothers and sisters out there from Africa, we, hold up. Hold up. There is no Africans for all human beings. So here's the deal. I'm almost finished. Okay? So here's what's up. Think about black brothers and sisters, we're taking a break. I want my 40 acres and a mule. We are all human beings. Yeah, okay, whatever. We are all human beings. I'm not arguing that. But I want you to understand something. When I got shot, I'll never forget it. Okay? All the hate crimes, I'll never forget it. Fuck it, man. Like this. This we're talking about all that shit. We don't need that shit. Hey man, you're saying the same thing. You're just using different no, terms. No, we're not. You're creating division. No, he's going on and on free 